Jaden, I'm sure you must get a lot of offers for different projects. What was it about the True Adventures of Wolf Boy that really grabbed you? Um, well, of course the script um, and the idea of um, putting on all this makeup and becoming someone else. And uh, I was just intrigued by the uh, detailed and, and story-driven characters. Um, and I loved Paul. I related to him, and uh, and so, uh, but I did audition for this, and I worked with Martin and kind of discovered who Paul was. It literally took hours to put on the makeup. Then when you had it on, it hurt when you spoke. Was making the film actually enjoyable? Um, yeah, it was. It, it, um, it was definitely a difficult time for me. Um, but it, will, it, it, it kept me sane because I, I knew that what we were making was going to turn out beautiful um, because of Martin and because of the amazing crew. And, um, you know, they just, they just kept me happy. They, I was always laughing and always having fun, even though I was <laughs> covered in hair and in these prosthetics that drove me a little crazy. But. In your acting, were you doing anything to kind of compensate for the fact that your face was covered in hair? Um, yeah, I kind of had to um, adapt to having all of this hair on my face because I, throughout the movie I was terrified that what I, what I was doing was not good enough and because I felt so restricted, my face felt so restricted, I felt like I wasn't uh, showing enough emotion. Um, so. I had to use other things. I had to use my eyes and um, my body. Um, Your voice is great in it. My voice, yeah. Thank you. One thing that I've been dying to ask you, did you ever go out among the public into the real world with the full face hair makeup? Yeah, well, when I first tried it on, me and Martin took a walk around and during filming, we're still shooting in public places. So on top of them, on top of everybody in the neighborhood being confused by the trailers and the cameras and stuff, they were looking at me, and um, it was it, w it was interesting. I felt I I felt like Paul when I walked around and I saw people staring at me and like judging me, and uh, like a group of teenagers walked by and they're like, "Oh shit, it's a dog!" <laughs> and just like in the film. yeah, just like if, just like in the film, so. Um, it definitely helped me get into character and um, empathize with what he was experiencing. You've just had the world premiere of The True Adventures of Wolf Boy here at Carlo Vivari's Grand Hall. How much have you enjoyed the experience of being here? It's been amazing, yeah. Everyone is so sweet and the town is beautiful. And um, it's been a pleasure.